Well, since its inauguration in 2014, the Khabarone International Music and Culture Week returns for its eighth installation. The festival, which has become one of the biggest festivals in Botswana, with nine shows daily, ranging from fitness and aerobics to jazz, festivals, champagne picnic, theater, choral music, poetry, comedy, clap and tap to the main music festival. This year, the festival's musical lineup includes some of the biggest artists on the continent, such as Makhadzi, Mposibina, Duda Thesipuma, to name a few. The festival is expected to run from Friday the 26th of August and will conclude on Saturday the 3rd of September. We are now joined by its organizer, Tapelo Pambalinga, and one of the artists on the lineup, DJ Nguazi. Tapelo and DJ Nguazi, thank you so much for joining us in our studios this morning. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you. My yeah. pleasure. Good morning. So, Tapela, let's start with you. As the festival's organizer started in 2014, what was the idea behind the festival itself and its inception? Well, the idea was really to come up with a platform where artists from Botswana and the region, Sarek, Africa mm. as a whole, can come and showcase their talent, you know, to bring uh, cultures from different countries for them to be able to come to Botswana and experience Botswana. So, yeah, uh, I think by and large we've been able to achieve that uh, eight years late. Mm, so it's a combination of experiencing the different kinds of musical genres that we all love in, in Africa, but also to experience the hospitality of, of Botswana. So exactly how do people who are interested in, in attending the, the, the festival and have, in fact, attended the festival before, how do they enjoy all the elements that you just named for us? Yes, as you introduced the festival, uh, this year we'll have nine shows starting this coming Friday, the 26th of August, until the 3rd of September. Now, as a people, uh, we all like different things. That's why it covers all the different genres mm. in there. You may like choral music, I may like jazz, Ngwazi may like, uh, uh, you know, m music in, in totality. I mean, he's one of the uh, biggest DJs around, you know, he plays all sorts of music. So, yeah, some like comedy, you know, so... It recognizes that fact that you know we are different beings, so mm. it caters for different target markets, different uh, ethnicity groups, uh, etc. So we didn't want to leave anybody out mm. to be able to make sure that you know what you like, uh, you'll be able to attend within the nine days of uh, the festivities. Yeah. Now, on the program, we've spoken to a number of e events or organizers, you know, and and sometimes they they you know they talk about the challenges of putting together something of this size um and and they're only talking about one genre of music you have all of these different genres of music just talk to us about perhaps the difficulties the challenges that you have come across in bringing all these kinds of of, of musical genres all in one place uh, what has that experience been like for you well, the difficulty probably right at the top of it uh, was for people to appreciate uh, and accept the fact that what we are doing is different. Mm. Uh, it's not just the one music festival that uh, they may be accustomed to. So in the beginning, it took a, a lot of convincing for people to, for them to appreciate that we could do. Uh, when we started in 2014, it was five shows. It hasn't always been nine. Mm. Uh, it's at nine shows for the first time in 2022. And, and is that because of the... Just the, the support that you've been seeing, the, the interest that people have in the festival, that you've even increased uh, the lineup to nine shows. Yes, it's just, uh, I suppose, organic growth. Mm. Uh, it has been well received, I must say, uh, in Botswana and in the region. You know, we've hosted, you know, uh, very big artists from different countries. I mean, we've had artists come from Botswana, South Africa, Lesotho, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Angola, Namibia, Canada, the U.S., Nigeria, Uganda, mm. so we, we've covered quite a lot. Uh, so yeah, it's just growth the way now people understand what it is, uh, what it stands for. So yeah, and of course some of the challenges that we experience is naturally finance. Uh, to be able to put together something like this, you, you need support, yeah. uh, financial support. But by and large, I think uh, we've been able to turn the corner. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'd like to bring uh, DJ Nkwazi into the conversation. I mean, Tapelo was just talking about, you know, how the aim is to bring all kinds of music to all kinds of people who hail from all parts of the continent. Um, as a musician, just talk to us about how important it is for you to have your music reach as many people as possible. Uh, you know, music is something, it's something that is special that came to the human being. Sometimes in difficult times, sometimes in happy times, 
Sometimes it's just normal times, you understand? Mm. And then also as a producer of music, when you are in the studio and making music for people to relate to, mm. and imagine more than 20,000 people singing for your song in the chorus, and they, uh, like it's, it's something special. Uh, it's going to be a very, very big show. You remember, it's, uh, it just stopped before because of COVID. Now it's coming back, and the country's excited, everyone is excited. It's going to be a very big thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, talking about COVID, uh, Tapelo, I mean, that must have hit you quite hard. Uh, a lot of festivals experienced two, uh, up to two and a half years of a hiatus because of COVID-19. Um, just talk to us about that, maybe perhaps some of the challenges that you experienced, or even perhaps just some of, uh, I suppose, the, the, the new waters that you had to navigate uh, post-COVID or having to deal with the fact that, uh, you know, we do have this public health emergency that is a reality. Yes, I, I mean, you, you know, with GMC, uh, in any one year we host it, we, you know, we probably support like 70 artists. Mm. I'm the one individual, so I think I'm the, the less important person in the whole mix. So in terms of COVID having affected uh, everything, uh, I think I placed myself last mm. because at the end of the day, as I say, I'm one individual. So it was quite painful to see that, uh, you know, whenever we don't ho host GMC because of the huge... Uh, value chain that it brings so many people don't get to make a uh, some bit of uh, money out of it so mm. it was important for us to bring it back because we host so many artists i mean for instance this year we're bringing a choir all the way from lesotho you know Cecilia. they come as maybe 50, 50 of them you know we also have a choir from south africa clap and tap called isaac and the mighty messengers these 80 of them so you know the value chain is big when they get there obviously they sleep somewhere, they eat somewhere, and all these things. So, yeah, COVID was quite hard in, in, in that, you know, whenever GMC doesn't happen, it affects the, the, the value chain and the lot of people that we do support. Mm. So it was a challenge, and, you know, we are excited to be back, uh, back like we never left. <laughs> back like you never left, love it. So just talk to us about, uh, both of you, in fact, you can both answer the question, what patrons... Uh, coming to the Khaboroni uh, Music Festival can come to expect this year. We've already talked about uh, the nine days worth of differing and varying music, uh, but what can they expect? I mean, are there food stalls? Are there any other sort of forms of entertainment that they can also come to expect? And you can talk to us about what you're hoping to present <laughs> with your DJing <laughs> skills to the patrons that come along. Uh, it's a I think this one it's, it's a blessing for this year. Mm. Maybe this one will go down in, down the memory because I'm going there for, for let's say the second time with the biggest song, both South Africa and Botswana, Southern region, doing well in Africa. Uh, coming with an upcoming album, you know, it's going to be crazy. It's gonna be it's gonna be a night to remember. That, that's why I'm saying this one is gonna go down the memory of the people who's gonna attend. Going down for the one I for think, the books. <laughs> I think Mbaz is being very, uh, 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 you know, uh, he's underplaying his importance in the festival. I mean, like he said, he's got one of the biggest songs, uh, mm. Utando. Utando. Mm. Yes, uh, he's he's taught the world with uh, Master KG, so he's a world-renowned uh, artist and DJ himself. So if you look at the lineup that we've, we've put together. Uh, we think we, we, we are touching on the, on the right nerves uh, in terms of you know, those that like jazz, those that, that like uh, music at the festival. We've got you know, some of the biggest artists in, 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 the, in South Africa from DJ Mapori, Samakazi. You know, we also have in Botswana the likes of V, uh, etc. So, so it will be an exciting festival. So somebody that comes will be able to see the full sights and sounds of uh, Khaboron. They'll be able to experience I think we are one of the most hospitable nations in the world. So come to Botswana, you know. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming on to today's program and sharing with us uh, all that we need to know about the Khabarone Music Festival. Well, that was event organizer Tapelo Pavalinga and one of the artists on the lineup, DJ Gwazi.